Hello, my name is Tao and I'm a student from California North State University. And in this video, I will be talking about MP thyroid. In this slide, I will be showing you how to take your medication. It's important that you take the medication on an empty stomach um, 30 to 60 minutes before food. If you have eaten, then you should wait at least two hours after taking, uh, after eating to take the medication and wait for 30 to 60 minutes again before your next meal. Take this medication with a full eight ounce glass of water at the same time each day. If you take other medications such as um, iron, calcium supplements, antacid or cholesteramine, um, you should make sure to space your administrations by at least four hours. It's important that you do not stop this medication abruptly unless directed by your medical provider. You should let your healthcare provider know if uh, you ha have soy, cottonseed meal, walnuts, fiber, and grapefruit juice as part of your regular diet as it may interact with this medication. Also, let us know if you have other underlying medical conditions um, and if you experience any adverse effects uh, while taking this medication as this may be signs of worsening disease or overdose. MP thyroid is a natural preparation derived from dry porcine thyroid glands. Its active ingredient is thyroid USP or desiccated porcine thyroid extract and contains T4 and T3 in a 4 to 1 ratio. It is indicated to treat hypothyroidism, mixed edema coma, thyroid cancer, and to be used in thyroid suppression therapy. MP thyroid comes in five doses strengths and is available in tablet form only. So what are some pros and cons in deciding treatment with this product? Some advantages to MP thyroid is that it is naturally derived from, from pork and it does not contain dye or ingredient made from gluten containing grain, um, which may be more suitable in some patients. The encoded tablet can be crushed or cut, making administration easier for some patients. This product can be used in pediatrics, adults, pregnancy, and lactating patients. However, manufacturer warns that caution should be exercised when given to lactating patients. Some disadvantages to this product include uh, its limited availability and, um, and a more variety of strains and dosage forms as compared to levothyroxine. Dosing information is unclear for other, for other indications other than hypothyroidism. And lastly, because it is naturally derived from pork products, it may cause some hypersensitivity to certain patient populations. Thyroid hormone is released from the thyroid gland with the simulation from the anterior pituitary gland and the hypothalamus. T4 is the inactive form of the thyroid hormone that converts to T3, which is the active form and exerts its effect at the target tissue. It is believed that T3 is involved in numerous metabolic pathways. Therefore, patients with hypothyroidism may present with fatigue, depression, irregular menstruation or infertility, weight gain despite decreased appetite, cold intolerance, and hyperlipidemia. Therefore, MP thyroid supplements the thyroid hormone um, to solve uh, signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism and prevents future complications. In adult patients with hypothyroidism, the recommended starting dose is 30 milligrams daily with 50 milligrams in increase in increments every two to three weeks to a maintenance dose of 60 to 100 to 120 milligrams daily. According to the manufacturer, patients will achieve normal TSH and T4 levels after four weeks with adequate therapy. Any adjustments should be made within the first four weeks of therapy. If, and if patient is already at high dose but did not achieve satisfactory response, adherence or absorption may be the cause of the problem. A lower starting dose is recommended in patients with long-standing mixed edema, but extreme caution is recommended, especially when cardiovascular impairment is suspected. In mixed edema coma, it is, it is preferred that the patient is given IV levothyroxine, but tablet can be crushed and given via nasal gastric tube if possible.
other indications for adult patients is, a, is listed here. However, a specific dose was not listed in the manufacturer's prescribing information. And there's no renal or hepatic adjustment recommended by the manufacturer. The manufacturer recommends dosing pediatric patients as listed here in this chart. Treatment should be initiated at full dose as soon as the diagnosis is made in infants with congenital hypothyroidism. Here's a look at some adverse events that may occur in patients taking MP thyroid. Patients may experience some cardiovascular, CNS, dermatologic, GI, and or musculoskeletal events. Per the manufacturer, adverse events are consistent with signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism and may suggest overdosing. MP thyroid is contraindicated in patients with uncorrected adrenal insufficiency and those who have untreated thyrotoxicosis and hypersensitive to any uh, component of the product. MP thyroid carries a black box warning in situations when, youth, when thyroid hormone is used alone or with another agent for weight loss because it is ineffective in youth thyroid patients at doses within the range of daily hormonal requirements. Larger doses may produce serious or life-threatening toxicity. Other warnings include exercising greater caution when given to older patients or patients with cardiovascular disease, diabetes mellitus, or adrenal cortical insufficiency. Using MP thyroid with oral anticoagulants may alter the sensitivity of uh, those oral anticoagulants. Excessive dosing in infants may produce cranial synostosis. And lastly, treatment should not be discontinued during pregnancy, and those who are diagnosed with hypothyroidism during pregnancy should be treated promptly. Here are some monitoring parameters for patients who receive MP thyroid. Apart from vitals and thyroid function tests, such as TSH level and T4 level, patients should be monitored for any symptoms that may indicate worsening hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. In conclusion, MP thyroid is a naturally derived desiccated thyroid therapy that contains both T three and T4 to treat hypothyroidism. It is indicated for use in adult, pediatric, and pregnant and lactating patients. Patients are advised to discuss with their healthcare providers about the safety and efficacy and progression of the disease while being on this medication and should be monitored for any interactions with other medications and any improvement or worsening symptoms. MP thyroid is neither indicated or recommended for use in weight loss treatment. And here are my references. And thank you for your time.